Hey guys, Bill here, quick video. Um, talking about bathroom ventilation, and this is kind of an interesting one, so it's gonna be a little bit shorter of a video, definitely, because there's, there's something to it, but it's not like a crazy amount. Um, when you go ahead and think about your bathroom layout, there's a couple different schools of thought. Do you wanna have your bathroom fan in the center of the bathroom, or do you want it actually in, like a, right above the shower? My thought is you actually want it right above the shower. Um, that bathroom fan, its job is to remove moisture from the environment. And that's why we have them, or else it get kind of damp and stale um, and possibly moldy if you don't take care of it. So when you have a bathroom fan, um, the, the common term in the industry for contractors is the fart fan. Um, most people will install it center, and so it handles any gases from the toilet, you know, from daily use, or it also covers the, the venting from that. Um, for our own house, and again, it's a little bit higher end of an upgrade for sure, but we actually have two in our master. Um, so we have one that's right above the shower to handle that, and it also handles like the steam from the steam shower. And the other one actually handles uh, gases from the toilet itself. And we actually hid that behind the toilet. What's really nice is that you flip the light and they both come on. So it's a really cool feature. Um, there's also a lot of different smart technology these days with bathroom fans. Um, so there's a couple of brands out there, and blank on the name. Um, but if it detects moisture in the air to a certain amount, it automatically flips on. So that is a great option for parents with kids. Um, you know, if you got, you know, teenage boys, let's be honest, we, we stunk. <laughs> Any guys watching this, you know. Um, they're gonna run in and out of that bathroom. They might remember to turn the fan on, you know, and then they're probably gonna forget and they'll leave it on. So if it's the winter time and they leave it on, all that heat is being exhausted to the outside of the house. Um, sometimes they're not even gonna remember. So they won't even remember to turn it on and then that's when mold would happen over time um, in the bathroom because the water is just staying there from the steam. It's not going anywhere really. So it's just something to think about, you know, where do you want to place your, your bathroom fan? Do you want more than one? Um, can this one bathroom fan actually handle the, uh, the room? Um, there's lots of things to think about too. And one of the things that people don't think about is just the air circulation from the door. So many times when, you know, I get a client that calls me, they get my bathroom fans not working. And so what we always try and do is the, 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 the tissue paper test, you take a piece of toilet paper, you rip off, you know, one individual square and you hold up to the fan. And if it's sucking that up tight, holding it there, then the fan's working. Um, what can happen is that the, the duct work wasn't properly sealed. Maybe there's a clog in it. Um, it's gross, but rodents can get in there and make a home. Um, that's a possibility too. Or what can also happen is the bathroom door, um, again, I'm pointing back here with this one behind me, you can't see. The, the seal wasn't great and the gap at the bottom previously um, let in too much air. And so it wasn't creating a, a vacuum or a suction. So the bathroom fan worked, but there was lots of little penetrations on that big one across the bottom of the door that it caused more air to be let in than that little bathroom fan can handle. Now, you can get bigger bathroom fans that, that uh, can remove more CFM, CFM or cubic feet per volume. Um, but they, again, like you don't wanna have an industrial, you know, fan that's like super, super loud. So there's a lot of variables and stuff like that with ventilation in the bathroom you need to think about. If you wanna do a steam shower, there's a whole different setup for that. Um, again, like there's, there's bathroom fans with lights, without lights. Um, th there's a lot to consider about that. Do you want just one in the bathroom to handle everything? You know, but then if you put that in the center, it's not really going to handle the steam that well from the shower. It's also not going to handle the gases from the toilet. Do you want to have two? Do you want to have one right above the shower? Do you want to have one by the toilet? You know, do you just want one to just put it above the shower by the toilet? Again, think about it. So in your remodel, if you're going to do a bathroom remodel, think about the placement. Um, many times we can get uh, a single individual unit that's a little more powerful, but we could put in the center of the room where the existing ductwork is, and it could handle both. Um, the ones you buy off the shelf, they generally don't do it. You have to order it. Um, it's not that much more expensive, but you just know that you got to know the right thing to order. So anyway, guys, it's a little bit bathroom fan ventilation. I know it's not a, you know, 
a sexy topic, <laughs> but it does make a difference. Um, like, subscribe, comment below. Let us know what we want to hear more about, what you think of these videos, and yeah, we'll talk soon.